What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Child now. I know Child is currently out, and with him being out, a lot of people are going to be summoning, uh, especially because Rosaria is also on the banner, and if you're not fortunate, you're going to pull Child before you pull Rosaria. It'd be like that sometimes. So, with that being the case, um, let's go ahead and get into everything we need to know about Tartaglia. So, starting out, he is a DPS unit. He cannot play support at all, right? I know a lot of people want to ask about it, or some people just like to ask that question. The same people that asked, can Razor be a support? The answer is no. Um, so, yeah, he is a main DPS type of unit. As far as weapons, let's talk about weapons first. Uh, best in slot is Skyward Harp, being it gives him crit rate, and it gives him crit damage, and... Um, you know, he gets increased damage on the uh, passive as well. That in tandem with uh, him having his ascension stat being what? Hydro damage, right? Uh, it's really nice that the weapon gives him crit rate and crit damage. So best in slot is that, obviously. Now, I know a lot of people do not have this weapon. So we're going to talk about pretty much every weapon. And you can make the, the choice for yourself. Uh, Elegy of the End. Elegy of the End is not going to be super crazy for him. Um, it's going to be nice because it does give elemental mastery, it does give energy recharge, but it takes away from stats he wants to have, like crit rate, crit damage, right? Um, and if you could not, you know, get this, you could, you want to opt for attack percents for the hydro damage, not energy recharge, which doesn't net you damage. So, uh, there you go. A moss bow is not going to be super crazy for him. Obviously, it's a five-star weapon. You can use it over other weapons if you want to, but, um... You got to realize it giving attack percent instead of crit rate or crit damage is going to make it not as good. Now, like I said, it is it, between these two, obviously Skyward Harp is good, but Amasbo, don't get me wrong, right? It's a really good weapon, especially that's a five star and you can use it on them, but comparatively to Skyward Harp, it's not good. Now, if it's the only five star you have, go ahead. Stringless. Stringless is going to be used on him if you're running strictly reactions. If you're running a vaporized comp, and that's it, then, you know, there you go. A lot of people do tend to run him on, like, more of a one-shotty, vaporized type of comp, so you could run Stringless if that's what you're going for. If you're going for pure DPS and not reactions, then the Elemental Mastery from Stringless isn't going to be as good. You can still use it, though, but it's not going to be as beneficial. Uh, Favonius is kind of eh, because it's just giving Energy Recharge, which he's not... Like, his ult does a lot of damage. His ult's really good. It's nice to have. But that's not what, that's like not how you want to play the character. So there you go. As far as uh, Wind Bloom Ode, this is a nice weapon as well. But it's kind of the same thing as Stringless. Uh, you're pretty much going to only use this if, um, if you're running like a, a reaction type of comp. And for anyone that says, oh, it, his is R1, it's not R1. I have all four of these. I just didn't feed them yet for before someone comments that. Anyway, um... He dropped originally with Rust. Like, basically, they advertised Rust as his weapon. And as you can see, it even fits his color scheme. It's literally his weapon, quote-unquote, like, story-based story weapon. Um, if you look at it, it gives attack percent, which is really nice because it scales into the hydro damage. And then increases normal attack damage by 80% at R5, but decreases charge attack damage by 10%, which is really good because whenever you pop his E, you're going to be using his auto attacks or normal attacks more so than his charge attacks. So if you're looking for a four star weapon that's really good for this character, this is a weapon that's really good for the character. Um... Sacrificial is not good. The passive doesn't work. You can't reset his E. And then uh, Favonius again. Now let's go ahead and talk about uh, the Battle Pass weapon. Because I know a lot of people want to know how good the Battle Pass weapon is on him. If you look at the Battle Pass weapon, right? It gives crit rate, obviously. And then upon hit, normal and aim shot attacks have a 50% chance to generate a Cyclone. Which will do damage, etc, etc. This is a pretty decent weapon on him. Because just first and foremost, gives crit rate, right? Off rip, crit rate on a main stat is obviously amazing. The passive isn't super crazy, but um, if you do have a decent attack stat, it is going to do a good amount of damage, so it's not bad. Uh, but I would I would say it's not necessarily worth to get this over a lot of the other weapons. I mean, we've had the battle pass for quite some time, so I mean, you could potentially get this if you wanted to. It, it's really up to you if you want to get this weapon. 
going on to the uh, craftable weapons, because I know some of y'all going to ask about that. Let me tell you something. Do not run compound bow on this man. It gives physical damage. You cannot use it. Normal and charge attack hits increase attack and attack speed. That the, the passive is nice. Right? Like, if you have a compound bow and that's all you got, sure, be my guest. But don't build a compound bow for him. Right? It's better. Like, it's not worth to do that. Um, and then a lot of people are going to also ask about Prototype Crescent. Prototype Crescent gives attack percent. Charged attack hits on weak points increase movement speed uh, and attack by 36%. Which, this is not that bad either. Uh, you could definitely opt for this as well. Now... If you're asking my recommendation, first and foremost, it depends on what comp you're running. But if you are running a, um, if you are running an elemental reaction type of comp, you obviously want to go stringless or wild bloom ode. Uh, they kind of do the same thing, kinda. Like this increases your skill damage, right, and your elemental burst. But this increases your attack percent, and then R5 is going to be much higher. So it's like. They both increase damage. It's kind of, it's kind of, and I'm pretty sure they give the same elemental master as well. So I, I'm not sure which one's better. But yeah, if you want to go elemental reactions, that, and then if you want to go for a normal type of DPS of type of build, I recommend the Rust Bow there. Now, like I said, it's definitely subjective. It depends on what you got. Depends on what you have. A lot of people might ha not have this weapon or have the weapon R5. So if you don't, then you could definitely go with the Battle Pass Bow, or you could go with a uh, the um, bow that I forgot to mention, <laughs> which is the uh, this bow. Oh, well, it's not even here anymore. But anyways, uh, the bow I was going to talk about was going to be the um, I forgot the name of Black Cliff. There it is, the uh, Black Cliff bow. Now uh, this isn't the bow, but they all have the same thing. It gives you crit damage and then gives you attack percent. The Black Cliff bow would be really nice on him as well. So there you go for anyone that wants to know. Now going on to artifacts. Uh, originally, what you would run on child would have been, like, four-piece noble, or you could go, like, two-piece gladiator or something else because there wasn't a hydro set. Well, with the release of the hydro set, you can either go four-piece hydro or you go two-piece hydro, two-piece noble. Now, um, as far as what you want to build, as far as substats and main stats, you'll obviously go crit rate, crit damage, um, and then attack percent, you don't really need Elemental Mastery unless you, uh, you can take Elemental Mastery if you're running Elemental Reactions, but if not, then you don't really need it. Now, the Hourglass. The Hourglass, you want to go Attack Percent, but if you are running an Elemental Reaction Team Comp, you can go for Elemental Mastery Main Stat, right? But besides the outside of that, it's the type percent, 100%. Hydro damage, obviously, there's no other alternative. And then crit rate or crit damage headpiece, obviously, as well. Uh, as far as talents, what you want to do, you want to go uh, E, ult, and then normal attacks, you can keep it 6, to be honest, um, I think. Wait, does this scale off of... No, see, this this has its own scaling. Yeah, so you definitely don't have to norm like level up the auto attacks because this has its own scaling, so... Uh, yeah, so E, ult, and then this you don't have to really max. Um, you don't need his constellations. Don't listen to what anyone tells you. People are going to tell you you need them. You do not need the constellations. Trust me when I tell you you don't need the constellations. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for child and everything you need to know. Um, if you want to look at my stats on my child, 57, 163. He is level 70, though, so I, I'm going to get more attack. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys said in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.